Hello everybody and welcome back to baseball here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean and today we are mercifully wrapping up a series against the Texas Rangers. This has been a real tough series. It's been a little bit difficult, a little difficult defensively. It's been a little difficult offensively. Nothing like playing a really bad team in the Colorado Rockies. It's going to skyrocket your freaking uh, hitting difficulty and then actually play a good team in the Texas Rangers and watch that just nosedive into the ground. We have Brian Wu. He is on the mound today, 2-0 with a 4.09 ERA, taking on Jacob deGrom. He's 2-2 with a 4.15 ERA. We have uh, really struggled with hitting in this. We've struggled catching up to the fastball. They've been using a lot of their secondary off-speed or movement pitches, and that's given us a ton of trouble. Um, but we'll see if we can uh, if we can figure it out. White lightning or voltage? Oh, Okay. Is white? I don't even know if Mountain Dew White Lightning still available. Is it? Is it available? While I switch my category live on Twitch, it's a good opportunity for me to remind you that you can watch new baseball every day at 6 p.m. Pacific time right here on youtube.com slash Rex or catch it live over on twitch.tv slash Rex. However you're watching, thank you for watching. Let's jump into today's game where the thing is not centered the way I want. I need to just make another screen. It's literally all I need to do. Center vertically. Play next game. We are 20 and 4. We've lost two of our last three games. I don't love it. We're almost done with this road trip. I think we start playing Arizona tomorrow where I am, yes. Huh. It might be available where I am. I just don't like ever think about it. Okay. What do we want to do with this lineup here? It's a right-handed pitcher. I think we still bring in Garver anyway. Put him in the four spot. I don't love the double lefty. Rius. Put Dylan Moore in there. Haggerty's at second. Rojas, France Haniger, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not concerned about Ryan Bliss. I don't care. He's a rookie. He can sit there, okay? He can just sit there. You can do a little thing called sit and spin, you know? All right, it's game three of the series. We have split the first two games. Kind of lucky to even win the first game. Second game got kind of out of hand. Um, the second game of the series was incredibly demoralizing. Like just unbelievably demoralizing. Thankfully, I didn't have to play this game for a day due to my streaming schedule, so I was able to just hang out. We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back. To Game number twenty-five of the this. season already. We are breezing through this. So almost ready to get underway and starting in this one. We will have our uh, our Chris, city connects on Friday. That's exciting. His thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he Pretty broke into the big leagues. I don't do much batting order today. stuff. Okay. I All try to tinker to with it. JP I try to keep who I'm hot to with up near the top. And here it comes. One not ball. even okay. close there. And we're underway. Well, that's not what I want to do. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. I will just leave that there. I was trying to uncover the score bug for myself. Next offering misses. And that's Ooh, a couple two. of wild pitches to start us off. He can throw a four seam at 101 miles an hour, a slider at 94, a circle change at 90, a curveball at 86, a two seam at 99, a 2 0 count. See if he wants to go fast. To the right side. And that is at 100. Damn and he it. takes it himself for the out. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Ty France. 
Yeah, Boog, this lineup is setting up the pins for him right now, and he's just smashing them. Driving runs in at a high rate over the last couple of series, and it just seems like he's enjoying every opportunity he gets in a big spot. Not everybody likes to be on really the wanted to do something with that moments, fastball. But right now, he does. Those pressure moments almost seem to be what he's thriving okay. on. Kind of saw where he wanted so to go there. Thought he might start with an off-speed pitch. Rodriguez in the box that here. one missed. Let's Everything's one missed except for the fastball. And, now two and even there, a fastball a misses. Who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Ah, way early on a circle change. Looked pretty good coming out of the hand, but. The why to kick the pitch. No, 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 no. Strike two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. Okay. Almost hit. Come to on. The hit me. One down, base is empty. And that's oh. ball four. Okay. All right. Able to draw a walk. Kind of thought about swinging there, but thankfully, maybe mercifully, we got a, got a check swing there. We're still sitting in Hall of Fame Plus. We haven't dropped it that much. That's Luke just Rayleigh awful. That's late just awful. On that fastball. DeGrom, a multi Cy Young Award winner. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a curve, and he works in a two seamer. Right through there for a strike. Rodriguez leads off first with one away. Okay, waste pitch outside. That's that. A little misleading last six games, five runs. We haven't used Rayleigh a ton in all of these games. Okay. Late on the curveball. Would have loved just a little earlier. It's inside. A little earlier on that swing, maybe try to shoot it down the right field line. filled up so here we go base runner at first could be running on the pitch he's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position even if it's a swing and miss at the plate okay foul the way left hand hitter waits okay. keeps the foul it off staying alive here i want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo he didn't make it easy for him on the mound. But they, they really not get. Out. Mitch Garver up to it here. I need to get like Good a piece power. of it to stay alive. Not great in the OBP department. That Ooh. one at the knees oh. for a strike. That was a weird animation, by the way. Very clearly a strike. One one. Pitch out, but no action. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Next offering That's is fine. in for a strike. Is it really going to do anything with it? Such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. DeGrom checks the runner. Not Rodriguez. I'm Back not stealing. Standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And that one gets past the catcher. Okay. All right. So hey, we're making him throw some pitches. I think pitch. that's going to be our, our game plan here. I don't think he's going to be... I mean, he's not going to be this wild, right? He's been a little inconsistent. Right, he delivers. Careful. And another ball. But we're going to have to have some more at-bats like that previous at-bat with Garver. Kind of just fouling off. Staying alive. Struck him out without a swing. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Yeah. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. I was waiting for uh, waiting shot. for that to drop out of the zone. He uh, he threw it the same. He that was the same payoff pitch in a full count. Um, with uh, against Garver as well. At least with Garver, I tried to swing. I don't know. I'm a little surprised I didn't get any contact with it. But. Number 33. 
really labored his last time out four plus innings wasn't able to qualify for the win but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss we'll see if he can get in the W column today Brian Wu would have played here's Leody Tavares for the Rangers the oh field. he he probably would have played that weird that first weird Colorado game and a pitch That's in there. That's not what we're looking for. I feel like I've really struggled with the pitching. I don't I don't know why, honestly. Out towards right center field. Rojas trying to get there. And there's one down. Take a look at the lineup. It features one of the sport's true superstars, Corey Seager. Well, he's in pretty good company right now on that AL leaderboard for home runs. Top five for the guy, and he's one of the better home run hitters in the league this year. You don't see him missing too many pitches, and when he gets the one that he wants, he doesn't miss it. It goes a long way. Evan Carter, oh. the next to hit, takes ball one. One out, base is empty. Boy, that was too fast, huh? That was too fast? Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay, he's in there. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking not even really a terrible a and that's location exactly there. How you do it. Seager stands in now. Outside corner, there's but I did pelt that outside corner there, so. Definitely on me. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Just off the outside just edge. Outside. Gonna count one and two. It's a good take. The shortstop takes the ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swing there and we miss go. for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for a good pitch three. mix there. Throw that slider. Situation right there. The infield oh my back and this my pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two outs and a runner at third. Here in the third and final game of the series. No, no way. That's a strike. Nope. Just okay. missed. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. And a four pitch walk. Here is Marcus Simeon. I mean, I just I like that wasn't. To him right there anyhow. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. In there at the knees. That's strike a strike. Away. Corners are occupied with two down. Up the middle. In oh, thank God. First. And Simeon is out. Whew. And that okay. is the inning. So we wipe Rangers away the triple. That's good one. news. Globe Life Field. Yeah. New inning getting started. Okay. And now the switch okay. in and catcher, Cal Raleigh. Okay. Stay patient here at the work. dish. And a good fastball to start okay. him maybe, off. Maybe could have been a little ball. aggressive there. That's okay. The we haven't really timed up that fastball at all. It's an electric pitch for him, and he's usually pumping it in at about 100 hey. miles per hour, which makes him okay. one of the this is not... pitchers in the league. And the right hander deals. Close, but call the ball, and the count is one and two. That's when you always want as a pitcher down at the knees, and it looked to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. 
And he deals. Fuck. That slider just Man, broke just inside. Didn't have a shot against it. Out of the zone, and I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Done. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down. Two outs, bases empty. Shockingly, uh, just... Oh, okay, it was a slider. I mean, just like, are you kidding me? That misses off the outside edge. Hey, we're at least trying to be patient a little bit. We're getting a call to go our way, but. And he blows that one by him at a hundred. Too late. We were right there, but. With the two oh fastball, not sure exactly what he was looking for, but gotta imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Swings through it, and that's a strike. Can't catch up to the fastball. Mariners go down quietly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Okay, it's still a pretty okay job. Like so the 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 two at bats that weren't Ty France was Raleigh and Hanniger. Those were both um, longer, pretty good. And even though it was only a one pitch at bat, we got pretty good contact on the slider. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel The pitch. There's a strike. I do think that this is going to be kind of a rough stretch. We have a lot of good teams that we're facing. Pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. There we go. There's a nice strikeout. pitch sequence the there. String of the change up. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. Yeah. You look at the sequence. No, everything hitter. down at the knees and below. Yeah. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to play. 96, 92, 83. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. In there for strike one. And that's in there I at the knees. I am very confused Andrew, about this. Two count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase. That was a terrible pitch. Down in that, area. that was a terrible pitch. It felt bad. Thankfully, it wasn't uh, obliterated into the uh, into the stratosphere. Gets a piece and stays alive. Slider didn't really drop either. Going two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Bounce to third. Really bad. Toss really bad. First. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Batting eight. The catcher. Jonah. Now here is Jonah Heim. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Swings through that one, 0-1. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. And it's 1-1. One and one. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. Two out spaces empty. On the ground to third. Okay. Slings it across. Controlling the game a little bit. Three there up, we go. Down, That's what we're looking for. Rangers go down quickly there. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and now for Seattle, Josh Rojas. Okay. The pitch. 
This one in the air right field. Yeah. Garcia settles under it. He's got it. Hmm. One away. I am surprised that there's the just edge, nothing just on that pitch. Barrel it up enough to really drive it. The third base Here's Dylan Moore. Dylan Moore. He swings and misses at the Go first pitch. Should have probably been able to track that a little better. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't figure it out. Right down the middle, but I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Boots it. Safe at first, no play. <laughs> Somehow we were early we'll on that. This. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Next to hit, JP Crawford. That's fine. That's a good take a right there. That's all good. Man at first, one away. DeGrom checks the runner. Moore gets back easily. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. There it is. Chew. <laughs> as I could feel it, they feel it, and then I was trying to tease it out. Really? We're just not getting anything on these? Like, what the fuck? And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. A swing and a miss. He's throwing a lot of off speed. One. Settle Rodriguez down. Settle down. Measures six feet, four inches, 23 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. Get on the ground to the right side. Right to him. Very late. Takes okay. himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mariners leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. As we go to the last of the third, leading off Josh Smith. The pitch. Swings and misses. Going one. No ball. One strike. Righty to the plate. That's and a foul pitch. ball. He stays alive. The pitch. That misses. Now I, I wanted that pitch. I just obviously did not put it where I needed to put it. To third. Tailing off to the right on that? I'm not on first. super sure. Man retired here I think I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried about making the big mistake. We've already given up a triple with that speed that they had. So the batting order turns over. We've had some trouble with this team throughout this series. And there's a foul ball. Strike again just didn't feel good. Step off, step off, step off, step off. Didn't want to throw another fastball. That was a that was a bad pitch decision by me. One down base is empty. On the ground to third. Okay. That chance handled. Gets it to first. I think it was a, it was a good step off. It was definitely a good step off just to reset the brain. So up next, Evan Carter, one for one. Dude, that was way out of the way. Line to left. Okay, I'd really go in. Right, one, two, three. Go the Rangers. And we are still scoreless. Okay. Zero, zero through three. On 
to the fourth. And stepping in for the Mariners, Luke Rayleigh. The wind of the pitch. No. Tried to check his swing there. That's a bad. The third. No swing. He held huh? up. Daryl Parker okay. with the call there. It's actually, it looks a little more like a strike on the in that left-hand corner thing than it does on the strike zone itself. Next offering That's is fine. in for That's a strike. Fine. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. And the righty deals. Got it looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug. And uh, these type of home run totals. Here comes a pitch. Right. And it's even up. One one. Swing. Got me that nice circle change. change. Fourth inning underway. It's too no early. Started after the 1 2 pitch, appealed to first, and he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. That one close, ruled the ball, and now 3 and 2. That was such a good curveball spot. I'm sure, I don't know that that's where he wanted it, but. Outside, and that is ball four. Oh, oh, I'm a lot of sorts. Right I am there. so out of sorts right now. Oh, wait. Who was that? Oh, Mitch Garver. Okay. For some reason, I thought that was Mitch Garver. Really as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. That one down the line, oh. and he picks Mercifully it up in foul, foul territory. At the belt and fires. That one, one not one close. Three. And one and one. The one one is fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And the pitch. God, Fuck. God damn it. So strikeout number seven. He's been so consistent with that fucking fastball low in the zone. God, I hate this fucking pitcher. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And of course, he goes up in the zone. He's throwing stuff dead center, and it like it just doesn't matter. These are like such fuck you pitches. And that one kicks the corner. We are getting him up there in the pitch count. That's our really our only hope at this point is to just get him out. We're doing a good job. We're fouling stuff off. We're, we're seeing a lot. We have his energy a little lower. No way! Up with it, fires the first. Roll save. And that, that was, was a close. check swing. That was a fucking was check swing. Base, the it's the eighth or ninth the strikeout that we've had. For the defense there. Yeah, that's maybe a little bit of a morale killer. For a second, you think you're about to go hit, but really quickly you have to refocus and be ready for the next play. We'll that's going to be early. Around it. Garver, the lead runner out at second. France at first, two out of the inning. Oh. Just missed. One and one. That's a very surprising result with that speed. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Kicks and deals. That's in there. It's two and two. He was bringing the check swing back as I came in. Fuck. It was the one time I've been aggressive low in the zone and he got me with a curveball. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out. To oh get my out of a jam. fucking god! Like clearly, like the game 
can be so quick into where the way it raises the difficulty and it's so slow at times like it's giving you every opportunity of like oh are you good it's clearly no clearly like teams should be weighted the colorado rockies are bad i feel bad saying that because they're professional baseball players doing their best out there but they suck and it's like, oh, you're clearly you're doing really well. It's like, no, they're leaving it over the heart of the plate every like fifth pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. No, I could not see the pitch clock. And it goes just, just foul. foul. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Now, I don't know for sure that getting into the bullpen is going to be helpful, but at least we can see something different or have a better chance to see just something that works that we can get a hold of. He doesn't take a pitch off at all makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put them away. And now it's filled up. Hmm. He's really Great tightening ball. up his cool. hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Foul. We'll see another Lucky that that one's uh, still on the park. Knew that was going to be a bad pitch. And here it comes. Fights it off, you'll see another. Boy, what are we at? Pitch number. I can't really tell. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Is there anything I've thrown him that I. And he steps off. Fuck you, Seeger. Three, two. Up the middle, Crawford. Sends it to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Garcia in the box. Oh my away God. As he takes ball one. For real? Next offering oh, is downstairs. I mean, just allergic to the strike zone against Adolis Garcia today. He's seen six pitches, each one of them called a ball. Just oh, missed. In for a strike, now three and one. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one out in front that time. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Probably tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Simeon batting with one down takes a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Now this one gets away from the catcher. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. All tied up. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. He's safe. The throw was just too right. 
He was right fucking to him. God damn it! No throw, he's in there. Safe. Fuck, Brian Wu! God damn it, your fucking circle change sucks ass! Oh my god! What a fucking crock of shit! Fucking bullshit! And it's second. Swing and a miss. Like, I want to throw the two. circle change Just because it's a change of pace pitch. Velocity. And I can't fucking throw it. It's so bad. And a ball and two strikes. On the ground, right side, and he handles it himself for the out. Okay, no, I was double checking. Now that the designated hitter. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. He's over one. That clips the corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And a foul ball. <laughs> Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. On the ground, right side, Rojas. The throw to first. They limit the damage here. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now one. It was a pretty close play. This is Mariners baseball on the show. I don't know. Northwest. Woo the second time through the order. We've had a lot of trouble. I think I think he was the first game of the, tab, the Colorado series. Or maybe the second game of that Colorado series. Where things got real weird. Back to work. First pitch swinging. The fuck are you doing? Activity in the bullpen for Texas. Dane Dunning appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Heaney also getting ready. And that is cut on and missed. Oh, with two down. And a curve is down and in. Oh, two count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Not even close there. Now two and two. Stays alive. Damn it. The wind of the pitch. And right, right back, back to the mound. Him. Tosses the first. One away here in the fifth. Now that third baseman, Dylan Moore. Now the third baseman, Dylan Moore, reached on an infield single his first time. And he swings and misses. I, I hate him. I hate him so much. I fucking hate Jacob DeGrom. God damn it. Go fuck yourself. Fuck off. So lucky. So lucky that I left it on this camera. I forgot to zip my fly after using the bathroom. It's like, oh, shoot. We're going to have an incident. The local man gets banned on Twitch because he doesn't know how to zip his pants. He was 34. This is at the initial offering. Take a deep breath. Or leave him in as long as possible. On the corner for a strike. The Rangers leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swings through that. I can't figure out the check swing. It just like it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like I'm struck out on just three pitches last time. First pitch misses. One ball. Okay. No 
in there at the knees for a strike. But why to kick the pitch? Shadow is so the foul ball makes it one and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next pitch is outside. On the outside. The M's trailing by a run here in the rubber match of this three-game series. We're just, I mean, we're not getting anything. We're in the worst rocking chair possible. We're late on almost every single fastball. We're early on everything else. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nobody left for Seattle. They trail here. One, nothing. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. The catcher, Jonah Heim. The pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And aboard on the leadoff single. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory. Average going up, OBP. Everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Fought off foul. Oh, one down. Rudder takes off. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Rowley falls it in, and there's one away. The center fielder, number three. Leone Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. Oh, going some kind of... Here goes the runner. Rips that one to right. Makes the grab. Two down. Now, all of that was very confusing. I was holding down Y to throw it to second base. <laughs> that was a that was a mess. And there's a strike. I'm a little surprised they keep trying to go with uh, 31 speed. And it's fouled away. Ground ball up the middle, Crawford. Play made, that ends the inning. One left for Texas. They lead it 1 0. Okay, will they finally bring in a new pitcher? Will they finally bring in a new fucking pitcher? Back nope. at of course they won't. Field, top of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. DeGrom back to work. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. What an Right through there for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. David Robertson appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Burke, a left-hander, also throwing. Swings through That there. was a check swing. What is a check swing? The wind of the pitch. I just I can't imagine that that is where he wants that pitch. Two with a pair of strikeouts. A little out front there as he swings through it. Really, in his second season, 29 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Righty delivers. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And a strike in there. 
the Mariners down by a run and we're the top half of the sixth. Got it. Two gone. And there's another strikeout and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment booth, get back on track. His team needs him. Garber, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count even one and one. Two outs. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Two down, nobody on. That pitch just misses the inside corner. And that's ball three. Breaking ball and he struck him out. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Rangers one and the Mariners nothing. Bottom of the six. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Not shortstop. I mean, you are just, you're out of your fucking mind. You're out of your fucking mind. He threw that curveball up there on a 3-2 count. He hasn't done that all goddamn game. It's got to be a terrible pitch. I have no answers for this team. I have no answers for this pitching. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Matt Brash. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Popped up. Okay, a little lucky there. Tosses the mask, I'll, I'll take it. Under it. Pulls it down and he makes I'll take it. Catch. And there's one away. Now bad at the right Next to bat will be the Adoles. Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Hey, uh, that one's in there. That's strike one. Well, that's really the money spot down and away. I, think that, I mean, that's what you're kind of looking for. I mean, you, you don't want to hope that you're going to be able to gamble and win like that. But it's just kind of one of those. I didn't want to. I didn't want Brian Wu to have to face him a third time. Try and bring in a different look. It's still impressive to watch. Swings and misses. Two gone now. He's really good hitting the baseball no the other no way. Two. So credit the pitcher Second for having him out in front of that pitch. Marcus. Clearly he had him fooled. Simeon. So digging in, Marcus Simeon. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Pitch that misses. Must. One and one. One and one. Oh, I didn't want to throw that. Didn't want to throw that. We're fine. Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. Go. That one missed. Three and two. Right handed reliever. Battling here as he fouls it away. A couple of really bad pitches there with that uh that sinker outside. The fat or the the slider isn't quite as bad. 
Three two on the way. And they'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him That's a great out. slider location Rangers right there. In order. Let's see if we can do anything Rangers. here. I am I am confused. Nothing. I am very frustrated. I don't understand what they want to do. Like I, I just I'm not seeing the ball at all out of and DeGrom's hand. The and they're leaving him in. I fucking hate you, Texas. I fucking hate you. Of inning number seven. And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. The pitch. That's off the mark. Ball one. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. No, Close, ball. but call the ball. And it's 2-0. Oh. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that's Thank too high, ball four. Why on earth would you leave him in? After falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but we now at least he gets out. a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That'll be it for Jacob deGrom, and he was up to crack. Pretty stingy from start to finish. Back with a new arm after a quick break. David Robertson on the pitch out of the pen here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. No outs, runner at first. And the batter now, Ty France. Cutter at 98, a knuckle curve at 87, a slider at 87, and a circle change at 90. Yep. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One strike. Circle change, a little high in the zone. The middle. Oh, great stop. Flips it from the ground. That's one. And that's two. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball done play. And that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. Oh, man. Vinegar, up next for the Mariners. Swings and misses at the pitch oh, off the plate. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. I mean, you just know it too. You can just you can see it coming from a mile away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider, down it away. Kicks and fires. That one misses, and that's ball three. Like four. That's four straight balls, and we just swung at that stupid slider. Patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat. That's a walk! Fucking idiot! Oh my god! Fuck! I want to hit myself in the head for the frying pan! Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Fuck! Oh my god! Back in Arlington, and here's the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. That was a walk. That was a fucking walk. God damn it. The game doesn't pause when your controller's not connected. The pitch. One it was a walk. I swung it everything and then the one cutter right down the fucking middle. On the ground to third. <laughs> we have struck place. out like 16 times. In the I hate this fucking team. Like, I, I cannot express to you how fucked I knew I was going into this series. That car, that Colorado series was so weird for like a bunch of different reasons, but scoring 16 runs is like, a, it's a thing where like I actively need to like not because it just, it just fucks me against good teams. Around first heading for two and he'll pull in there with a stand up double. 
He needed out one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and... New pitcher on We're going to go ahead and bring in the lefty. And that's a big potential run out there at second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. And now it's going to be Jonah Heim. That one fouled off. Base knock right field. Coming home. The throw in. He'll score. And they lead by two. Comes through with the RBI. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that'll make to Crawford for one. Over to first seat. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Laodi Tavares. And first offering is fouled off. Strike three on the fastball, and that ran back over the other half. Hanniger's so throwing two one good balls into. Uh, it's now a he's, he's throwing two game. good balls into the catcher. Just too much speed there. Really slow developing double play that we weren't able to turn. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Kirby Yates. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a the reason they're put in these situations. Four seam at 96, a splitter at 88, slider at 80. And a pitch. Rojas, the, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Action in the pen down there. Jose Leclerc appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Left-hand batter waits. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. And delivers outside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Yeah, there's ball four. Okay, made that pretty easy for him. That which I appreciate. An offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. And up next for Seattle, Dylan Moore. One for two. And that's too high. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Okay, thank God I didn't get that. And that's perspective that's a beautiful splitter right there as a hitter you don't like it but he's commanded his fastball and out of that same tunnel that splitter comes and the bottom just falls out okay. of I'm pretty sure that that's the only pitch inside. he's thrown for a strike so far it's the only one we've swung at and he spits on that one ground ball right side oh no Over to Seager. that 
to first double play. 363, nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Digging in, J.P. Crawford. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The M's trailing by two, and we're in the top of the eighth. Gets a piece and stays alive. Damn. Even when I have good contact, it's the perfect pitch. I'm too early on it. He basically did what I did to one of their batters earlier. Just dropped the speed. Two outs. The shortstop takes the ball. Got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I do not have an answer for this team today. I just don't. The pitching has been a nightmare. I, I haven't seen anything that they're throwing against me. He swings and fouls one off. These are some demoralizing losses. I think part of the problem is that, like, we still have a chance. We're still, like, in this game, but, like... I, just, I have no belief in myself. I have zero belief in myself that I can figure this out. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pinch. Bounced up the middle. Slings to first, and Seeger is set down. Two outs, base is empty. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. That's in there. 0-1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And that one is in for a strike. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And a foul ball We've had chances. Alive. We've had our opportunities two and completely blown them. The third and final game of the series. Two terrible double plays after walks. Maybe even three of them. It just fucking God. And a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. And the Rangers set down in order. They're up 2 nothing. Quite honestly, we probably should have been swept in this series. If, if we're being completely honest, like we should be... We should have lost that first game. Julio came through with a big two, actually two big, uh, two big home runs. Four seam at 97, a slider at 85, cutter at 92, a circle change at 90, and a two seam at 97. And that one fouled off. Leclerc. In his eighth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, a oh. changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Looking to get something going, this is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And the right hater deals. Pitch is in there. And a count one and two. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. And another ball. Okay, foul it off. That okay. one just misses. Foul off. 
off again. You know, the cutter instead of the fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. He's just Here's trying to get field. something Luke on it. Rayleigh. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Got him swinging. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And the pitch. And now the count is even. Leclerc is just one strike away. And that's in the dirt. The 2 2. Liner, base hit. He's got enough. So he gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. These players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series, you got another team coming in, and you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further, get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well, and these players, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. I mean, it was a pretty good game defensively. We, we only gave up a couple of runs there. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I was late on all of the fastballs. I watched it. I mean, the, the hitting difficulty is going to slowly go down. We struck out an extraordinary number of times today. That was maybe the best piece of contact we had all afternoon, and it was a line out to left field. DeGrom had 14 strikeouts. He did walk three, but we, I'm sure, hit into double plays on most of those, if not all of them. He pitched six innings. Uh, this game was a nightmare. This was a fucking nightmare. I cannot express to you how frustrated I am with my performance in this. I was confused. I didn't know where he wanted to go. Every time I thought I had him figured out, he'd throw some pitch that I don't even think was good. I don't know that that's where he meant to throw it, but it's a slider. It's that, it's that curveball that's way up at the top of the zone, just swinging and just not able to get any sort of contact. I was way behind on the fastball all day. I was way ahead of every off-speed pitch. I am very thankful to be done with this series, and I'm very thankful for the balanced schedule that I don't have to worry about Texas for a little while. Uh, I fucking hate playing this team. I fucking hate them. I hate playing them. Brian Wu, he gets the loss. Pitched pretty okay. Only gave up three hits in five innings pitched. I think that's maybe a concern that we have as well is Brian Wu's last couple of games. Once we get to that second time through the order, things start to go a little awry. He was in that second uh, Colorado Rockies game. That one got weird. Um, this one, you, he gave up a little one in the fourth. It's a pretty decent throw from... Hanniger from right field would just need to be a little more accurate with it. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't have an answer and I don't feel like it's going to get much better soon. And I feel very demoralized over the last couple of losses. The Colorado Rockies series was so fucking weird. The first game we blew a six run lead. The third game we lost in the second game. I think we completely screwed ourselves for these series that are coming up because we are really going to struggle 
and you can see it. It's been an awful, awful couple of games. Um, Rojas was 0 for 2, though he did draw a walk. Moore was 1 for 3 with a strikeout. Garver was 1 for 3, hit a walk and struck out twice. Ty France was 0 for 3, he struck out. Winley gave up hits to four of their batters, but one of them went for a triple, though they didn't score, so that was good to get out of that in the first inning. Duran had a double. He was able to score. Simeon and Heim both knocked in RBIs. I thought I actually had the advantage on Heim, even though he's a switch hitter. I think he's weaker against left-handed pitchers. Maybe I misread that, but he was able to bloop one in, and it was a pretty good throw, just too much speed. LeClaire gets save number seven on the season. Whew. <sighs> That was miserable. Those li the, the entire the last four games have fucking sucked. I I I don't even know. We've lost three of our last four. Um, this one wasn't as close as the score would indicate. Uh, we are lucky to win this game. Honestly, probably should be on a four game losing streak. Um, but this one, I do just want to look at the box score. We struck out eighteen times. Eighteen strikeouts. Somehow Rojas didn't strike out, but everybody else struck out at least once, and a majority of them, two-thirds of the line out struck out multiple times, including four for Rayleigh. We'll be back home tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Gilbert's no longer injured. That's good. Castillo's on the bump, taking on Merrill Kelly, the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, a touch under 500 at 12 and 14. We are 20 and 5, which is good news. We're two and a half ahead of the Houston Astros. The Rangers are on a two game win streak. Uh, the Twins are 5 and 5 in their last 10. But it was, uh, it was a rough series. It's been a rough week of games. Um, but we'll see what we can do when we get home tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Um, I, I hope you hope I hope you enjoyed a lot of yelling and screaming and cursing at Jacob Degrom because fuck that motherfucker, god damn, and fuck them seriously, <laughs> fuck them. They left him in for an entire extra inning and a batter. What the fuck? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Calmer, collected, or -er, and ready. To take on the Arizona Diamondbacks, 6 p.m. Pacific time is when baseball posts every day right here on YouTube.com slash Rex. Catch, uh, check out the Twitch streams over on Twitch.tv slash Rex. Streaming baseball, streaming the video games, having a good time over there. Uh, and you can watch me yell and scream and curse and drop controllers and lose my headset and lose my mind in real time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe over here. Watch more baseball there. Check out this morning's video and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Go sports, Mariners.